uh, sentiment around uh, Coinbase Global Inc. is rising as the long-anticipated debut of an exchange-traded fund that invests directly in Bitcoin um, appears imminent. It's fueling expectations for a widespread increase in demand and apparently prompting some investors uh, to disregard the uncertainty surrounding the largest U.S. crypto exchange. Um, a spot Bitcoin ETF launch in the U.S. could potentially bring in more business but it may also push investors away from the platform analysts argue and the security positive and exchange commission lawsuit filed in the first half also continues to cloud point bases outlook and even with the overhang the company's financial performance is expected to improve when it releases third quarter results later thursday while trading volume has likely fallen by more than 50 percent an analyst surveyed by bloomberg are expecting revenue of 654.7 million dollars up from $590 million in the year ago period. Coinbase's top line is being helped by greater contributions from a partnership in the USDC stablecoin, which is earning more interest income on its reserves thanks to higher interest rates, and by higher fees Coinbase receives from its trading customers, said John Todaro, an analyst at Needham Co., who has a buy rating on the shares. And Coinbase's quarterly loss likely narrowed to around $130 million from $544.6 million in the year ago period estimates show and it would still be a seventh consecutive quarterly loss as the collapse in crypto prices from the highs seen in rate 2021 uh, continues to weigh uh, on the sector. Shows that Coinbase have jumped about 120 percent this year to around $78. Even with rally the stock is well off a record high of more than $400 reached the company first listed on the NASDAQ in April 2021. A lot of the stock gain can be attributed to the optimism around Bitcoin ETFs and investors are overlooking potential regulatory developments, said Stephen Glagola, an analyst at TD Cowan, who has an underperform rating on the shares. This is a business that is existential overhang of whether or not it will be able to still continue to exist as is, pending this litigation with the SEC. If Coinbase loses the SEC case, it could potentially be broken up into an exchange, retail brokerage, and a custodian. He cited, and... The company has been accused by the SEC of running an illegal uh, exchange. Among other allegations, Coinbase is fighting the charges uh, an ETF mania could boost Coinbase's retail business as more mom-and-pop investors pour money into Bitcoin, including through Coinbase's platform. While the combined custodial and institutional trading revenue is a fraction of its retail trading sales, the business is a potential growth catalyst with several proposed spot Bitcoin ETF funds planning to use its custody services. Uh, the larger impact of coin revenue would come from a Bitcoin ETF uh, raising BTC prices and on the back of that growing retail volumes broadly. Uh, Todaro said uh, it, uh, there's also the expectation of benefits from uh, the next uh, so-called Bitcoin halvening uh, in which uh, the number of new coins issued will uh, drop in half in the first half of that next year and past halvenings have typically resulted in rallies and those have attracted more retail investors. Coinbase's bread and butter uh, customers into the market. Uh, Bitcoin has doubled uh, since the beginning of the year and uh, jumped recently on the ETF exuberance and uh, already there are glimpses uh, of a possible turnaround in trading volumes. Uh, on the second for the third quarter we expect another declining quarter for volumes but this is starting to look up as October will outpace September uh, which hit a cycle low to Daro California said uh, Coinbase's spot trading volume in the third quarter was likely the lowest since the company went public and was down 52 percent from the year ago period according to researcher C. C. De Ada. At the same time there remains concern that ETFs could make Coinbase shares less of a proxy for the crypto market is the offset that people don't need to trade Bitcoin on Coinbase because they can just buy the ETF in a typical brokerage account, uh, said Benjamin Budish, an analyst at Barclays, who has an underweight uh, rating on the shares.
going back to the share. That would be negative for Coinbase.